Hold fast. Paul had trained Timothy to be a teacher of the truth, a workman of the Lord. Yet Timothy was timid and needed to prove himself in Paul's instruction. And the main thing Paul instructed this young workman to do was to rightly divide the word of truth such that he and those he instructed would hold fast the form of sound words, which thou hast heard of me, in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Ghost which dwelleth in us. 2 Timothy 1 verses 13 to 14, let's break this down. 1. Timothy was Paul's son in the faith, and he had taken great effort to instruct him in the word of truth as revealed to him. 2. So, Paul's instruction here was that Timothy should hold fast in the faith and the love that are in Christ and the sound words that came directly from the risen Lord through Paul in this regard. 3. Make no mistake, there were others that were instructing against what Paul was given by the risen slash glorified Lord Jesus to teach. So, Timothy had continuing encounters with such opponents of this message, as did Paul. 4. But Paul wanted Timothy to not waver in his belief and teaching of the th sound words that Paul had instructed, words that were the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16 verse 25. 5. The words that Paul taught were unique in this regard, yet others sought to mix these with those of other messages, such as that of the gospel of the circumcision slash kingdom which were preached to Israel as a message of repentance, mind-changing, regarding the Messiah they had caused to be murdered. But these were according to law slash prophecy not mystery and such were not sound words, with Israel concluded in unbelief by this time, Romans 11 verse 32 and Timothy knew this. 6. Paul is commanding Timothy to continue in the faith that he learned from Paul and to speak only sound words, which thou hast heard of me, a newly revealed mystery message from Christ through Paul to Timothy and us. 7. Timothy was also reminded to know that this good message which was committed to him by Paul was to be kept by the power of the Holy Spirit and not in the power or wisdom of men. Paul says something very similar in his epistle to Titus in Titus 1 verse 9 noting, holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. So, this is very much the charge to the body of Christ, today as well. We need to search the scripture, determine the sound words that are for this dispensation of the grace of God, and then hold fast to the message that is ours as ambassadors, to believe and share with others. Believer, hold fast. Thank you for watching.